a Tuesday afternoon on Riviera FM. It's Daytime Live with me, Dave Evitz, and I am joined by my very special guest, who has been a guest on my shows on a number of occasions. It is Billy Sutty Sutton. Sutty, welcome along to the show again. How are you doing? Very well, thank you, Dave. So, Sutty, the reason we are chatting today is that, um, well, uh, last time we spoke, um, we were talking about uh, your life being put on film, The Legend Plays On, which basically tells of your life as um, an alcoholic in Birmingham and ending up uh, working with the police in Miami. Now, the last time I actually saw you physically, we were at the Torquay Museum at the English Riviera Film Festival, where The Legend plays on was getting its local premiere and what a fantastic day that was how did you feel with all of your mates around you tremendously obviously but of course it was more in obviously more emotional Birmingham when I had over 200 close friends and celebrities there which was a very emotional journey David well, of course, the Birmingham one was last July, and I was privileged to be there as well. And that was literally a star-studded occasion. It was one of those things where I was sat there, and I was looking at people and thinking, I know him from off the telly, and I'm sure I know him from football. And they were actually all sort of like, you know, real celebs, which is a testament to yourself, because so many people showed up to um, just honour you and watch, it, watch the, um, the first showing of your film. That must have been amazing back on your home turf as well. Oh, well, I see, I mean, the likes of uh, Jasper Carrot, Nicky Owen, Gary Nuvon, Johnny Fitzpatrick, having the mayor there and having my son and my two lovely granddaughters on the top table. It was very emotional. And, of course, uh, the day before, on the Thursday, as you know, uh, I was honoured with the biggest honour from the outgoing mayor, the Lord Mayor's Precious Award, for my contribution over 50 years to the city. Yeah, I mean, again, I was uh, privileged enough to be uh, one of only a few people there to check that out. And that was, it was just wonderful. I mean, it was a gorgeous stately home. The uh, mayor and his mayoress were there. And um, it, was just a, it was just a really, really lovely ceremony. And um, yeah. obviously, coming from, your, you know, your roots, the same roots as me, you know, um, uh, recovering alcoholic, it must have felt, you know, you must have felt so proud knowing that what you've done is being recognised. Obviously, and I think to be recognised by your own people is very, very important. I mean, I was flattered to be honoured 40 times in Miami, obviously, yeah. and different and different uh, things over the years in Birmingham. But that award from the mayor was the highest honour the city could give me, and uh, very humble. Uh, obviously, uh, my mother had witnessed me being honoured, obviously, in 1996. Yeah. Uh, uh, Liam Patel, top Miami judge, and Gerald Darling of the Miami Police flew in for that week. That was very flattering. But, you know, at the end of the day, David, you know, it's I was a streetwise playoff playboy in the swinging 60s. It fell away terrible to alcoholism, emotions on a mother particularly. But... Sochi came back the winner. I'm 43 years the winner this September for one day at a time. Hey, so you'd think at 80 years old you'd be calming down a little bit, but no, you're having a biography of your life written as well. So uh, now that is, as you say, being written by uh, Ted Hines, legendary journalist, and um, photos taken by Tommy Atwell. How did all this come about then? Well, what happened, I uh, met Ted two years ago uh, when they were filming me uh, for Legend Plays On. Uh, Gary yeah. Stretch, as you know, he's been like a doctor son to me these years of boxing. Actor, director in Hollywood. He yeah. came down and Ted and Mike Halford, another marvellous photographer based in... Uh, over in the, this part of the world, obviously. I'd met Ted socially. So um, it wasn't to be a, not a bad idea that after all these years, I needed to get it down in print. And sure. Ted's, 
Ted's record, he covered the craze, uh, the Bufumo case, the scuff trial, and he worked on the Marvelous Cook report. So for four and a half months, I've been having very big discussions with Ted uh, to get this out. And of course, we're going to approach in the next week or two top American publishers. Obviously, the entry is going to be the Miami story, David. Of course, yeah. Um, again, very, very quickly, because obviously we've been over this before in other interviews, but uh, in a nutshell, the Miami story, you actually um, had contacts with the British police here due to work you'd done with, um, you know, the youth and what have you back in the day. And you met a um, Miami policeman on holiday. And basically, it came from that holiday. You ended up going to Miami and working with the police there on drug busts to um, help people in this country understand uh, crack cocaine. Exactly. I, I was the first to warn this country in 1986 about crack, knife crime. As you know, I had a meeting with Margaret Thatcher. Yeah. And I warned her about the black gang, the Yardies, knife crime, drive knives in 1986. I don't think really she took much notice. Sadly, I was going to prove them wrong, very yeah. wrong, years later, particularly with the knife crime and crack. But in saying that, David, you can only do what you can do. I think the most important thing now is that the book is so important, not only to reach out to the alcoholic, my feeling has always been like yours, the suffering yeah. families, David. As well. Yeah. All my life, um, if it's been press conferences here in America, I've always tried to give hope, inspiration, and inspire the families as much as the alcoholic. Look, it's been an emotional journey. I've had to tell the truth, the whole truth particularly the confrontations with the greatest friend in my life, my mother, Mary, to yeah. make the book stand up, David. But yes. Ted is a mad person. Uh, he's going to do me justice with his marvellous book, no shadow of a doubt about it. Tommy Atwell uh, with his marvellous new, obviously, obviously, uh, what doing with me now with the new website, and the yeah. new website, by the way, David, for your listeners, is therealbillysutton.com. Well, that is brilliant stuff. And, Sussie, once again, thank you so much for being a guest on the show.